Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number four. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Police didn't quite catch us. Right, welcome to the club. There are many clubs around the island and each has something special to offer. Race your way up the ladder of members to become the club president and earn, exclusive, earn access to an exclusive vehicle or free upgrade. Now, I like the sound of free upgrade, but I also like the sound of an exclusive vehicle. So, uh, what we do uh, is six races uh, and we go against each of these cars, progressing up the tiers till we get into the president's seat. And obviously, the president is driving the same car as us, so I have a feeling we should be able to sail through this very easily. So, first off is Blacklock. We're going to be going against him first. Yeah, the names are pretty interesting of some of these drivers. But uh, it should be alright. Should be fun. So, uh, Blacklock he is driving a Pointiac Firebird, I think that is. Here we go. And go, 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 go. So it's a 1.7 mile race. Not too long. Uh, all of the club events have off-road penalties, so you can't go off-road. And it is point to point, no checkpoints. Um, so you do have to follow the road, even though there is no checkpoints. Uh, because of the uh, off-road penalty. But it makes it interesting. Look at that. 70 drift points. It's very good. We are gonna, uh, we are gonna try and do as many of these races as possible. Like try and do everything in the game. That is my aim. 100% walkthrough. Because uh, I tried that for Ridge Racer 6 recently. Completely failed that. But this I have high hopes for that I could do 100%. Uh, but there we go. Blacklock has been defeated. What's his time? Are we actually gonna find out his time at this rate? 103.299. That was much slower than us. Uh, so we don't get many points or many credits. I think it's um, a quarter of your credits that you earn also gets added to your master points. Um, but next up is Mog the Dog with a Chevrolet SSR. <laughs> Mog the Dog. Imagine that as your driving name. Hey, what up? I'm Mog the Dog. Awesome. Here's the start line. That, to be fair, that truck does look fairly decent, but uh, I can imagine it's pretty slow. 3.3 miles for this race. Keeping it on the inside. Made a little bit of contact there, but I think Mog got stuck behind some uh, oncoming traffic. A uh, little bit of penalty through there. But again, this is. Um, there is no time penalties for these. I think it's only time trials and speed traps that you actually get penalties for going off road midway. Um, but this one is just you fill it up, you game over. Nice, this one. Ugh. I thought it would have been later on, but it wasn't. Corner came sooner than I thought. Very nice. Oh, 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 not great. Thank you. At the next intersection, turn right. Okay. Turn right. Here we go. We've got a tiny bit more off-road penalty for that as well. Hang a little bit. Not too much. As long as we don't crash and end up off the track or off the road, we should be fine. Oh, that's another thing. This game has racetracks in it. Like, it has genuine racetracks. And I think there is, um, like, endurance racing. There are a couple of races that are, like, super long. Um... I think there's about four or five racetracks in this map. I may 
believe you're wrong though. But there are a few racetracks. Quite a few. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right, turn come right. on. Oh. Turn left. It's really good. A little bit of drift points as well. Nice. And here's the finish line. Two minutes, 16.210. That was a good time. We got 4,375 credits for that. That's the second car taken down. Awesome. Test drive unlimited. Perfect. Next up is a Saturn Sky Roadster. So this was uh, one of the choices of cars for the first car you pick. Um, so we're going to go against a David Little for this one. He's a little bit small. Haha, <laughs> funny puns. I'm trying to drink my tea, but I'm like one of those Brits that can't drink their tea hot. I'm one of a very small minority. Alright, here we go. Saturn does get a slightly better start than us. But we just uh, overtake him, and we're back in the lead. Oh, come on! It's not bin day! Managed to get my car big stuck there. Come on, can we catch up with David now? This is a shorter race, so, uh, might be able to. Okay, we are picking up a lot of speed now. Come on! Not quite enough. No. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Right, let's just retry straight away. I can't believe that though. Bin truck in the way ruined my race. Let's do this. If there's another bin truck there, I will cry. Right, we are quicker than David's car, and we caught up big time, but not enough. Right, keep it on the inside. What are you doing? Okay, we are in the lead. This is fine. Why is this race so short? Genuinely, they should have made it longer. I really want to see this uh, feature come back in Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. But I know Solar Crown is a competition. But I feel like if there are clubs, it sort of adds an extra bit to it. So you have the competition competition side, but then you also have like members and groups of people. And it sort of makes it interesting. It mixes it up a bit. But that's uh, 3,250 credits. I think uh, credits are based on distance. Too hot. Oh, I think I just burnt my lip. Uh, next up is Lee Miller with his uh, Ford Mustang GT. Ford Mustang. The Mustang's a good car. Um, I think that's why I sort of took it as my first car when I played through this, because it was like a safe bet. Alright, let's do this. Mustang. I'm going to beat you. Go, 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 go. Nice. We are in oncoming traffic for the start. 2.3 miles. This car sort of like just random, oh, randomly appear out of nowhere. You're moving the wrong way. You're moving the wrong way. Stay back. Ah. Why is everyone shifting over into my lane? Oh, 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 uh, I don't like. Oh, and there's a corner out of nowhere. Thank you, game. Okay. But we have uh, the right face in traffic now, so that's decent. We 
we have a lane we can be safe in. Knowing that I'm not going to get into like a 200 mile an hour head on collision. And here's the finish line. It's going to be the fourth card taken down. I think next is the vice president that we got to take down now. 7,250 credits. Awesome. Oh, has the game frozen? I hope not. No, it's fine. Here we go. Next up is Darren Big Blazer 87 Diaz in his uh, Shelby GT500. Let's just get rid of him. Let's deal with this club. Awesome. Come on then. Let's do this. And we're off. Oh, he's making contact. He's a bit of a toxic driver. We've only got one mile left. It's another one of those. Oh, short races. Nearly crashed into the back of that car. That would not have been ideal at all. Oh, crash into him. Oh no, there's some walls as well. Come on, keep it steady, keep it safe. No need to die today. There's a the finish line though. Is there a handbrake button in this? Hang on. I think that was a handbrake. There were tire skids. So there we go, 6,500 credits. That's decent. Test drive unlimited. There we go. Right, final race to become president is against Steven, and that is also against an Alfa Romeo GT V6. Let's get straight into the race. Once we've done that, Club E will have been defeated. Take down. All right. Very nice. And let's go. Oh, the bin truck's uh, late for his uh, bin rounds. I keep calling them bin trucks, but I don't know whether they are. They could be fire trucks for all I know. They do seem to have sirens on the top, so it might be fire trucks. Oh, I've just got the bin trucks this whole time. Oh well. There's the Alfa Romeo garage that I got my car from. This is the only car we've driven so far. It's a really weird experience to not have gotten a different car so late into a game. Like, we've driven this for 100 miles now. That's quite a lot before getting another car. Like Gran Turismo, you would drive like 20 miles and then the next car, and you're done with that car for the rest of the game. This is like, you've got to properly drive your car. And I could take the Cobra, but I feel like that's a little bit too slow. I did have a look at the um, speed. Um, and for a D-Class vehicle, that only have like 5.5 second acceleration and 130 mile an hour top speed, not my cup of tea. My cup of tea has three sugars in it. <laughs> oh, congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. I mean, we could see how much that Cobra actually, um, or the AC280, whatever it is, see how much power we can actually get out of it, but I don't think we'll get a lot at all. But that is it. We are now the president of Club E. Awesome. I think next up we're going to move to the V8, uh, no not V8, V6 club. Let's have a look, see where is that. 
Is it? There we go. Six shooters. It's this one here. Let's see. How far away is that? Should be too far. About six miles, maybe. Five miles. Four. Your itinerary is being Five point five. Alright. Okay, that was terrible. That was an absolutely rubbish spin. Right, we are 2.7 miles away now. That is a uh, decent distance. Between... Yeah, cops. Cops are gone. Cops are gone. Very nice. We are at uh, 88,000 points. So I have a feeling by the time we finish uh, this next club, we should, hopefully... I say hopefully... Um, be at 100,000 points, which would be really good. Points obviously go up very quick while you're going at a faster speed. Oh, come on. You're joking. You literally brake checked me. You did not need to stop that early on a corner. There we go. Right, uh, that was not contact. Okay. Here we go. Round the corner. Club is just ahead of us somewhere. Gonna make our way there somehow. Here we go. Look at this scenery though. Like, I don't care if the graphics aren't great. This is a decent playing game. It's fun. We're here at the second club. I'm guessing, like, they have the same sort of, like, textures for each clubhouse. Um, so we have Nissan Skyline R34. Oh, that's not great. Oh, those are quite fast cars. Okay, let's just go straight for the first one. Steph Corrin. In the Jaguar Type E Coupe. Let's do this. Start the race. Nope. It's not cooled down. Ow. I'm trying to drink like boiling hot tea. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. I'm guessing this car with the performance upgrades might be um, able to keep up with the cars. I'm hoping. I mean, obviously, this club, this race is like four miles long. I do remember, though, when I was younger, I managed to. Um, I was in like a high-end thing. It was against a Pagani and I managed to beat a Pagani in a low-end Aston Mine. Um, so I have a feeling it is sort of like based around your car rather than other cars. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. This game again is... It's been a while since I've played. That was perfect. I don't think that corner could have gone better if we tried. Those corners, maybe not so much. They weren't great. Awesome. Um, as well, I'm not uploading this at a lower frame rate deliberately. Uh, because this is actually how the game sort of looks. It's sort of this quality. Anyways, the FPS is like 30. It runs at 30. It would be cool if this game ran at 60. I think you can run it at 60 if you use... Um, if you take the ISO disk file and put it on a PSX2 or something like that. PCSX2 or something. I think. 
think that's how it what it's called. Um, which is basically like a PlayStation 2 emulator. I don't have an emulator, I've got a physical PS2. Awesome. Come on, can you not get any more speed? I need more speed. This is good though. Come on, come on, across the line. Ta-da! Finish first place, Steph Corin. 250.018 our time was. We're at 272,000. I have a feeling we may end up being at 300,000 by the end of this. Have a slight feeling. Just uh, rearranging my headset. Right, next up is the Alfa Romeo GT V6. This is the fifth car. So, uh, yeah, a little bit worried. A little bit worried, not gonna lie. Hopefully, we can beat those higher up cars. It's the uh, Noble that I'm most worried about. I mean, that's a Noble. That's a fast car. Right, how long is this race? 2.3 miles. Ah, that's plenty. We should be able to destroy them. I think we definitely have a longer gearbox as well. Because the other car, you can actually hear them shifting. They're sort of shifting a lot later. Uh, a lot earlier, sorry. You can hear it like... Wow. Oh, that was crazy. That corner, I was not expecting that camber at all. Cheeky corner cut. Doesn't hurt anyone. Except the other guy, because he's about to lose his position in his club. Pretty nice. Go, 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 come on. And there we go, across the line. 125.754 against the Alfa Romeo. The exact same car as us. Ah, This is going to get more and more difficult, guaranteed. Next up is the Nissan 350Z S-Tune Nismo. That's quite a quick car. That's got quick acceleration. I remember that. I do remember. Hmm. Hopefully we should be okay though. Six miles? Jesus, okay. Six miles against the car that tries to pit me. He crashed! I heard that. Big rip moment, sorry. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Hey, the drama bass is kicking in. Groovy tunes. At the next turn I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow and I'm going to get like, claim, 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 claim. Again, I'm recording this all in one day, like, recording most of it in one day, um, and then editing it. So if the music stops midway through the series, that probably means that, well, I got way too many copyright claims that couldn't be asked to deal with them. So I just muted the music. It's really good though. Lots of speed going through here. 
Ah! Keep it steady. We are miles ahead of the uh, Nissan, and they haven't caught up on the uh, straights either, which is um, reassuring. Oh, I remember this corner from... Uh... Whoa! I remember that corner from uh, one of the last races we did. You have to start braking as soon as you sort of go over that jump. That, f that truck, though, was bad timing. Absolutely bad timing. Right, uh, next corner. Oh, sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> So I haven't seen the Nissan pop up on the minimap yet. There we go. So yeah, that is miles behind. <laughs> okay, that's not great. Come on, we're, we're going to do this. Get ourselves another win. It'll be the third win of the club. We'll be halfway to uh, president. Not that I think we're going to get it while we don't have a noble. I may end up having to go like back to my home and get in, like a higher end car. Or buying a noble, actually. Because I probably will have to buy a noble to do that event. But there we go. 313.7. It was a decent time. With Charlie uh, accidentally crashing himself out of the competition. Absolutely ruined his own race. Alright, next up is a Skyline GTR R34. Now, if the S2 Nismo was slow, I have a feeling the R34 is going to be slow as well. Because that's actually slower than the Nissan. Because it's a Nismo version. So, yeah. I have high hopes for our car here. Ah, oh, it does look good. I think I may end up buying the Skyline at some point as a car for me to drive. Didn't hear a crunch as he went round that corner. That is really good. Wow. The more I'm playing this, the more excited I'm actually getting for um, Test Drive Solar Crown. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, whatever it's called. I'm getting really excited for that to be announced, like proper gameplay and all sorts. The new uh, developers know exactly what we want for Test Drive Solar Crown as well. So they're going to do an amazing job. I can guarantee it. Oh, I pressed the, to shift like I do in Gran Turismo. I'm so used to that. I was ready to shift. Uh, but there we go. It was another race win. Got to have 6,000 credits. Load of master points as well. I think the game's doing its uh, lagging glitch again. There we go, that was nice. Next up is the Noble M12 GTO 3R. If we can't do this, we definitely won't be able to beat an M14. But this is a uh, Blossom with two zeros. Let's fail miserably, probably. I can just about drink my tea now. It's cooled down. Oh, yes. No. Though, we have driven against one of them before. In this car. And we hadn't upgraded our car either. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Ah, but we're catching up. We've overtaken. If we do fail, I will end up buying a Noble just to finish this club. 
not even joking, I will buy a Noble to finish the club. Okay, that was alright, that was alright. To be fair, this game is all about buying cars and like, making a dream garage. And my dream garage is to have every single car, so, problem solved. Trying to get around these corners though, whilst being fast and also defending against a noble and worrying about oncoming traffic. A bit tricky. There is a huge challenge factor in this game when you add all those factors together. Oh crap. Way too early break in there. Right, we've got 4.1 miles left. It's quite a long race, so uh, this is going to be pretty intense for a pretty long time for now. Okay, that was good. Uh, this is now my worry zone. There are now no corners. And that's when a noble could probably overtake me. So far, no nobles. If I'm actually going to do this and beat a noble in an Alfa Romeo, I will be very impressed. Because I know nobles are very quick cars. The M600 is insane. That was close. Come on, we got this. Car still isn't on our mini map yet, so uh, they are quite far behind. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn okay. Left. We're gonna do that. He's gonna end up taking those corners like uh, normally, so. For a little bit of penalty, being able to gain like a second at least, I'll take that. Probably even more than a second, to be honest. Awesome. Here we go, finish line. Crap, that came quicker than I expected. Amateur challenge is now unlocked. Blossom, you've been defeated. We've unlocked an invite for a club. What? Club stripe. What's that for? Hey, a hundred thousand points. I think we have done it. We've got the racing car club. What else? Muscle car club. You see, there are loads of clubs. It's ridiculous. And we've won a Shelby GT500. Awesome. Uh, if we finish this, though, and we win another car, we're going to have a problem because we can't claim it. We won't get it. We'll lose it, probably. I don't know. Right, let's, let's go into this race, but hope we don't lose the car, if we get a car. If we get a free upgrade, I'm fine. But uh, our garage is full now. So uh, it's going to be time to buy a new house, I think. Awesome. It's a 6.1 mile race, come on. Okay, yeah, that noble's flying. Oh, but he's made contact. Oh, but we've made contact with him. Ah, oh, no. That was our chance to overtake and claim control of this race. Maybe he might make another mistake. Who knows? Oh, he has gone wide there. He's lost a lot of speed. At the next right. And he's crashed again. He's not having a great time, that's for sure. Come on, can we do this? Can we do this? Imagine if we did this first attempt as well. That would be insane. He's just got stuck behind that lorry. That slowed him down. 
Can we use traffic cars to slipstream? I don't think so. Okay, I hear a noble catching up with me. No way, he's just crashed. Hey, he's crashed three times. All oh, my days. No way. He's got a long way to catch up now. Because I think that noble's got a top speed of like 180, 190. So that's only 25... 20 to 25 miles an hour uh, difference. So, not a lot. Oh, shit. Oh, he, he did manage to catch up big time, though. How have you done that? There is no way you managed that. To take that corner at, like, 300 miles an hour. Turn right. Okay. No. I'm not accepting how quick he took that corner. Oh, gosh. We are under intense pressure right now. Hopefully, he messes up once more. There is a chance. Because the AI is pretty dumb in this game. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We can do it. There's a corner somewhere. Oh, it's a tight one. It's enough for him to catch up. It's enough for him to catch up. Come on. No way has a little alpha just been a noble M14. Uh, and it's a vehicle upgrade. Thank God for that. That is insane. Sorry, Ryan. We beat him by three seconds. That's crazy. That is crazy. And we got to 300,000 credits as well. I said we would hit 100,000 points in 300,000 credits. That was pretty good. Amazing. We're going to go and buy ourselves a new house as well, probably. All right, let's go take a look, see if we can find a new house. Your itinerary is being re... Is there... I did just skip a pop-up box somewhere. What did that say? Will it pop back up if I quit? Your itinerary is being recalculated. No. I, d I don't know what it was, but I've quit something. Uh, let's have a look for... Real tours. Uh, we have... N uh, we've only got this one. Let's have a look. See if there are any houses. Good houses for sale. Because we definitely need ourselves more space right now. Uh, we can do part X, I think. Yeah, we can. So we could just straight up buy an entire new house. Because that way we'll then have... Four and six. And then we can just part X that final house if we want to get like a super nice one. But I feel like this one would be good. Yeah, this looks decent. The beach house. We'll buy that house. That was 200,000 for that. Do we get to go straight to the house as well? That'd be groovy. Hey! Ooh, fancy. New houses and everything. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Very nice. Whereabouts is that house compared to, uh... Uh, can I... Display just homes. There we go. So, uh, it's probably about three miles away from our other house. Um, I think what we will do at some point is, like, get a house. Maybe here somewhere and a house up here. Um, that will at least spread us out a bit more. Um, because then when I get one of those houses up north, I might sell this house. But yeah, that's pretty decent. That's very good so far. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. 
And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>